Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center. Okay, um, this is going to fall under the topic of chemical toxicity, this video. Finding the cause of poor health, okay? So, um, this article here says here, this was in the Epic Times, great newspaper and a great article, non-stick pans can release millions of micro and nanoplastic particles over time. So these are tiny particles, so tiny that you can't even see them. So non-stick cookware is something that we always encourage people not to use. Focus on stainless steel, glass, maybe cast iron. I'm not 100% um, endorsing cast iron or against it at this moment, but a lot of people have iron toxicity uh, under heavy metal toxicity. They have too much iron in their body, so probably stay away from cast iron, focus on glass and stainless steel. So anyway, we're going to be talking about chemicals, and so either on our com my computer scan or with Drew's muscle testing, um, we're always kind of looking at what's bothering people. Drew's amazing muscle tester, the computer's amazing. So we have chemicals here. We have all the uh, 29 different chemicals in the body that we're scanning the body for energetically. And um, anyway, so here we have micro plastic particles. And the article goes on to say here, um, this was Newcastle University researcher. And just to kind of hit the high points here, they're non if you ever notice that your nonstick pan doesn't shine as much as when they bought it and had gradually become slightly yellow, this was an indicator that the pan might be scratched or aged and has a potential to release particles. They showed that just one crack on the surface of a Teflon coated pan could result in the release of around 9,100 plastic particles when used for cooking. A nanoparticle, I, I don't, I can't even describe how, I, I think I'm the head of a, of a, of, I mean, it's, you, you can't even see a nanoparticle, they're so small. I mean, you could probably bunch a thousand of them and you probably still can't see it. That's how small these chemicals are. And these chemicals belong to um, this group of um, P, uh, chemicals, let's see, PFAs, and why are these bad for you is because um, exposure, of course they don't know everything, nobody's willing to eat these things in excess and find out what they do, um, associated with altered metabolism, fertility issues, reduced fetal growth, immune system weakening and wouldn't make it strong, and an increased risk of developing obesity and some cancers with the onset of early menopause in women exposed to the contaminants. Okay, so that's really the highlight of it. Um, later on in the article, the Teflon company is saying, no, 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 that they've changed their coating and that their coating is safe. Um, you know, it might be safe because we don't know yet that it's bad, but I would stick with glass and stainless steel. Um, and don't think they're, you know, if you think of surgery, they're using stainless steel instruments. Um, and so those would be your best options. Okay, so um, your health is your wealth. Remember, take care of yourself. When you have your health, you have your wealth. All of your life will go better. Don't forget to get your yearly tissue mineral analysis. All right. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.